Douglas Brenner, Brenner Shocks, here in Southern California. I'm an authorized Olin sales and service uh, dealer. Um, lots of authorized sales guys, not too many authorized service guys, and I might be the only one in the country authorized to service Olin's uh, automotive and motorcycle shocks both. Um, I can meet or beat any price on any uh, Olin's product, so give me a call. You can reach me at uh, BrennerShocks.com, uh, which is my website, or um, TheOlinsGuy at gmail.com. And uh, for service, I'm as close as, if you're in the United States, I'm as close as UPS. Uh, uh, FedEx, the post office, although they don't like really stuff with nitrogen in them. I stock every, well, pretty much every uh, service part so I can turn around fast for you. Um, and if you want, you can subscribe and push the bell and do all that stuff. Uh, I doubt I'm going to be a, uh, <laughs> a Facebook sensation. So, I'm, uh, you know, I make my money uh, servicing and selling um, shocks comments leave comments if you hate me go ahead <laughs> but if you want to hear something uh, if, I, if I've glossed over something that um, I may understand but you I didn't make it clear to you let me know let me know what you may want to see I'm going to do all kinds of um, videos on the minutia of shocks there's so much snake oil out there I watch these videos and just roll my eyes and it's apparent that the people who are telling you stuff don't actually know what they're talking about. And I don't know a lot of stuff too, but I'll tell you I don't know it. Because um, sometimes it's better to know what somebody doesn't know than when they know. And uh, hopefully my goal is to let you know this isn't rocket science. Uh, you can do it, you can figure it out. If I can, you can. Uh, I just have about uh, 25 years or 30 years of uh, experience with uh, damper shock struts and stuff over 50 years of racing experience which I know I look so young and handsome that's hard to believe but um, I yeah uh, it's true so um, so today I'm gonna start at the very beginning reasonable goals for yourself one day at a time one tiny step at a time baby steps and I'm just gonna do a little um, thing I do to show actually what damping is. Is it damping or dampening? I've heard of flies. I don't care. I don't care what you call it. You can call it uh, the, the thingy that slows down things or whatever. I don't... There's a lot of guys who know the right term, which I think is damping, uh, but, uh, but they don't know what they're talking about uh, about damping. Uh, I'm a terrible speller, and in my whole life, I've never had anybody say to me, "That's uh, what's that word?" They always say to me, um, "That's not the way you spell uh, roller skates." <laughs> so um, they always know what I'm talking about, but they have to correct me. So don't don't worry about it. I don't care what you call it, and um, hopefully, my goal is if you watch enough of these, and and I can be clear in trying to explain it that you'll know what's going on and you can um, see when somebody actually doesn't know what they're talking about but is pretending they do um, so anyway um, let's get into it this first one is um, just a little thing I do that kind of shows what actual damping is this is the bottom of the barrel this is a, this is the very start of it and uh, and so hopefully uh, this will get us all started on what we're talking about. And I'm going to talk about damping as it, as, it, um, as it has to do with what we do, which is motorcycles, cars, low downforce things. Um, I race formula cars with wings and diffuser and still low downforce. It's mechanical grip. Um, and, you know, when you get into high downforce uh, cars and things like that, the it's the shock does a different thing it has a different function nascar um you know i don't know if they still i think they don't have a ride height rule but it was more important on the super speedways 
aero was more important on the super speedway so um, they had these hold down shocks which didn't do much uh, mechanical gripping but they they once the car got on the track it sucked it down so the arrow was in its place so we're gonna pretty much talk about uh, the things that uh, you and I are are concerned with so um, here we go here's a great little demonstration on exactly what damping is uh, as it pertains to what we're talking about which is uh, motorcycles automobiles motorsports um, uh, there's different types of damping. There's electrical damping of electrical circuits. There's civil engineering as damping of buildings. There's probably a million kinds. So here basically is a spring. This, this is a ruler, but it's a spring. And uh, you store energy in the spring, just like uh, when you get a hit, you know, when your suspension moves, it stores energy in the spring. And then it gives it back. And you can see it's oscillating. It goes past level. And that's like the, uh, you know, when you see the cars going down the highway porpoising, it's just a faster <laughs> version of porpoising. And also there's natural frequency, you know, depending on how much, how much weight is past the spring and what spring and maybe where that weight is. I don't know. It's... Uh, there's natural frequency. There's, here's another. See how it oscillates longer. That's a good demonstration of natural frequency. There's guys who can calculate it and they want to tell you what spring and what damping because they know the natural frequency. And they can calculate it with circles and arrows and uh, math. And I don't buy it. I don't, I don't think uh, it's too dynamic. Your motorcycle, your automobile is uh, dynamic. I can change one thing, everything else changes. Um, maybe, maybe there are guys who can do it. I don't know. But, uh, Adrian Newey is not in the yellow pages. He's working for a Formula One team and making a ton of money, and he's not on the internet, jabber wanking, as I call it, or on YouTube like me. You know, um, he's he's one of the real guys, and uh, we just don't have access to that. And I doubt he does that either. Um, they got tons of engineers. If it was that easy to, to quantify everything, they'd need one computer, and they would need lots of engineers and testing and stuff like that. So don't buy into it. Um, there may be a guy on the Internet that can do this, maybe some magic guy. But you might as well buy a lottery ticket because uh, you have just about the same odds of finding somebody as you do of winning the lottery. So uh, anyway, here, what we'll do is we'll bring this tub of water in here. It's just like what a shock does. There's oil and it puts, um, puts things through the oil to slow things down and dissipate some energy and turn that energy into heat. And that's what we can do here. Here's Here's our spring, here's our water. We'll... Yeah, look at that, it just stopped. There's no, not much oscillation. And this is over damping, by the way. You wouldn't want to damp it so that uh, nothing moves, so that it never goes above. Guys do that. There was a guy who would tell you to calculate everything and he was gonna do um, uh, this, he was going to put everything in the computer and uh, and uh, it was called critical damping, which is another form of over damping. I was corrected by, I said it was over damping and somebody said, no, it's not exactly over damping. But basically it is, it, it's just saying that it, the oscillation will never go, you'll never see an oscillation, but it gets back to that zero really fast is the way I understand it. But it's, it's ridiculous. Um, in what we're doing, if there's some anomalies on the track, sometimes you're bottoming if you're in a car, you know, there's a rough spot. If you damp for that, then the 99.9% .9 of the rest of the track, you're over damped. So um, uh, perfect is the enemy of good. You want a compromise. You want the best compromise of damping for all the conditions in that lap. So there you have it. Um, 
Damping 101. I know it's really simplistic, but you can get an idea of what actual damping is. And uh, it, it'll get better. I'm going to do a whole deal on, uh, on my um, shock dyno, and we'll see how damping applies uh, to what we're doing and how you tailor damping and things like that. Um, my next one will be springs. Everything you wanted to know about springs, but we're afraid to ask. It's really interesting. I think springs are interesting and counterintuitive, some of it. Um, so it'll be a basic, you know, it'll, <laughs> what I understand is pretty basic anyway. So I'll give you the basics of, of springs. Um, so anyway, uh, Brenner Shocks at uh, BrennerShocks.com and the Owen Sky at gmail.com. Um, I can meet or beat any price on Owen's products, and uh, I'm here to service. So just send send what you got, and I'll fix it and send it back. Um, Owen's only. Uh, so until next time, thanks. Thanks for watching. You know, I guess you can <laughs> click subscribe and all those buttons for me uh, if you feel like it. Uh, and comment um, tell me what you what you'd like to see and what I've missed and uh, yell at me if you have to so anyway thanks